story structure wise, what was last night, and then so what must tonight be the result of or well, the answer to? Or I mean, if last night was was the goddess, then tonight marks the beginning of of some bad times. But uh, <laughs> only because I know what I want to do, and since I don't know what I want to do, I can only assume that tonight's the goddess. Bloomington, Indiana, hello! <laughs> From the lofty heights of the Comedy Attic in Bloomington, Harmontown once again is in session. Please put your hands together for the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon! Making a drink because he drank too much backstage. He's gotta make another drink. Uh, that wouldn't make sense. I drank. Oh, because I drank so much of it that I needed more. Whatever. <laughs> I, an argument could be made that I came here with an empty glass. Whatever. Look at this. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait. Let me take a look around. When you see one. Uh, wow, the room's full. Hello, Bloomington. I, I, I look. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm a Midwesterner. Indiana's the Midwest, right? Okay. I, we've, we're now even closer. We were in Pittsburgh last night, and I was starting to feel that familiar chill as I explained to my girlfriend. Uh, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's different kinds of coldness, and there's a, we're getting closer and closer to the coldness of my home. Uh, a coldness that, 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 that makes your heart cold, and not just your skin. And, uh, but it's, it's, it's a different flavor, and Indiana's cold is feeling more and more like Milwaukee's cold, and I... Uh, we're in the Midwest, and I, 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 I know that uh, there's a culture that comes with, with the Midwest that is directly attributed to its, uh, its climate. I know, you know, when you live someplace where it gets this cold, like you are the, pro you know, the, the, the you, you are the product of people whose wagons broke down uh, <laughs> halfway to California, and who decided that this is this let's stick it out here. Like, like, and, and there's a religion that has to come with that—a personal religion and a cosmic religion of like, like uh, you know, don't 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 have too much you know pretentiousness. Like we're we're an honest people in the Midwest because we we don't we don't want to commit the crime of being overly ambitious, overly cocky. <laughs> like we, we we stick to that Icarus myth like very much. And when you move to California from the Midwest, the people always say you'll be back, and they mean it like as both an insult and a compliment. They, <laughs> and I and I know you guys n know this. I know Garrison Keillor already told you, and I know that <laughs> I know that every comic that comes through here probably reminds you of it because there's an outside perspective on that. Because I'm from the Midwest, Jeff. I just wanted to. I want to celebrate Indiana as being the most exciting, specific state in the entire <laughs> country. It's not. What, what makes it so specific? What's, what? Well, there's a, there's a lot of things that make it very specific. <laughs> uh, what is the typewriter? Or as you know, I Wikipedia research uh, every, every place we go. Um, and I, I, yeah, you can see in. in just, the, uh, just the effort that someone took to. Uh, Let's see. I want. To, sorry, I didn't. I didn't actually have this up until you mentioned that. I, I this wasn't like a pre-rehearsed bit. He just reminded me of the fact that I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. Why am I going to look? I don't read it. I, I, it's, I looked at the Wikipedia thing and it said Indiana is the uh, 19th state to blah blah blah. It's, everything's like right in the middle. Everything's like it's the 16th coldest state. It's the and then one thing. It, it started real hot. It was like Indiana is the least extensive. State in the contiguous United States, west of the Appalachians. Uh, just a, even an attempt to be the least something came up short. <laughs> it just bobbed right to the middle of the tank. Like nothing, nothing extreme can be can be said or happen here. But we're gonna change that tonight. We're gonna make Indiana the most extreme place in the world. We're, 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 uh, yeah, a guy just yelled out extreme Pringles for no reason. That's a, that's a new thing that happened here. Uh, uh, a, a guy feeling comfortable yelling out extreme Pringles. Did you know, Jeff, that Indiana uh, invented glass? I thought that was the Phoenicians. Uh, did you know that, that Indiana has more murders 
uh, with hammers <laughs> between the Appalachians and the Rockies. Just the most murders with hammers, period. <laughs> Out of anywhere in the world. Did you know, Jeff, that Indiana, uh, 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 uh... I did uh, not know that. That's a... <laughs> did you know they once successfully invaded Michigan? <laughs> why, why, why didn't they annex it and keep it? They, 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 because they're cool people. They're good people. They didn't, they didn't, they like it in Indiana. Um, did you know that, uh, fluorescent light, um, uh, was banned here for 13 years? <laughs> Um, uh, because there was a socialist mayor uh, of Indianapolis. I don't know. Worth a try. Let's do, uh, let, uh, also, the state famous for its basketball! Sports Corner! Sports Corner! Hey, everybody, it's that time again for Dan Harmon, Sports Corner. He knows about sports. He knows you like sports. We're gonna talk about sports. Boy, the Hoosiers, Jeff, yeah. uh, really, really out there dribbling the uh, the, the spear. Uh, they got taking it, taking it basket to basket. It's been a great, great quarterly season. Um, Do you feel that Gene Hackman's coming down too hard on the team? Uh, Hack Hackman's always been an offensive coach. Uh, uh, you know, in a time of defense, there are times when you got to go defense in the fiscal fiscal quarter. Um, so if, you know, if you which see, which of the four quarters is the most fiscal? I, I, it's, you know, well, certainly you got the winter conference, you got the spring conference, and you got the pumpkin pumpkin ball. But uh, the, the the like Hackman obviously is going to be able to push that ball closer to the net. We're talking again about a game of yardage. Uh, uh, in, in those fall months, that fall season, Jeff. Right. So uh, the key is to handicap the players. You gotta keep handicapping them. How do you feel about the, uh, all this Notre Dame scandal? Well, I mean, that's, that was chickens coming home to roost. When you have a, 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 a team poised with that kind of hubris, you know, they're saying the things they're saying at the All-Stars, uh, saying what they're saying at regionals, you know, saying, saying again, doubling down at All-Star regionals like you, You've got you've got a you've got a team that's got too much too much too much uh, uh, high game and not enough low game. Um, uh, there's not, they're taking too many three pointers, too many free agents, too much scrimmage, too much too much offense, Jeff. And uh, and it was gonna crash. It was gonna come tumbling down. They they built a glass menagerie, Jeff. Uh, gotcha. And uh, do, what do you do? You like the Pacers this year? What do you think? They're good. They're looking good. They got to keep those knees iced. They got to keep. Uh, <laughs> They gotta keep everything. They're ducks in a row. Just keep keep focusing on the uh, lines of scrimmage. <laughs> Sports corner. Some facts about Bloomington, the city, Jeff. Uh, six blocks from here is where Lincoln was shot. The first time. Uh, yeah. yeah. A little, I got shot, winged in the leg on the way to a rehearsal for my American cousin <laughs> at the Ford Junior Theater. Oh, yeah. take, take a hint, Abe. Yeah. Yeah. People don't, don't publicize it because they want to make him into a big martyr. Uh, the truth is, he was warned. And, and that was back when he supported slavery. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Would have been a terrible news item back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and you know, the guy who, who, who assassinated him, John Wilkes Bench, uh, or, or, or the, 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 uh, the guy that, that shot him the first time in the leg. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. G Sorry. Gabriel Byrne. You know what he... <laughs> uh, bench. Gabriel Byrne Bench. You know what he said to him in Latin as he shot him in the leg? Uh, uh, Tyrannus, Maltanus, uh, 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 six-sempered, uh, don't anus, nanus, which, which means... Uh, talk, talk to the hannus. Which means don't be a tyrant and this won't happen in a more fatal way to you. <laughs> And, and uh, what did Lincoln do? Ooh, let's uh, abolish slavery, go see a play, idiot. <laughs> Had it coming. Well, he didn't have it coming. Nobody has it coming. But he saw it coming. And he did it. <laughs> Is there a mouse in here?
<laughs> this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Uh, podcast listeners can't appreciate this, but there's a uh, there's a grip on the on the mic stand that that lets you uh, adjust the height of it. It's not usually there's a twisty thing. We've all seen that twisty motion that that comics have to. As a man who's had to do this 20 nights in a row, I'm I'm. Uh, I couldn't be. I couldn't be more excited. Than that. <laughs> this is like this is a, 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 a professional like me invented this, Jeff. A professional entertainer. Um, let's get Spencer up here. Yeah. Yeah. We've been bringing him up earlier and earlier in the show because the fact is, Spencer is the show. Yeah. There's, there's no bad Spencer. It's better to have him than not. Yeah. Hello, Spencer. Hey, how's it going? Good. How was the merch table? Uh, how, how were sales? Uh, sales were uh, average to subpar. Buy stuff, you guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Well, it's all right if you don't. I don't care. We're not. We're not trying to make any money or anything. We're just. We're, uh, we're trying to free up the bus space. We we uh, our bus driver almost quit when he saw the amount of merch that we had uh, uh, endeavored to bring on this trip because there's no room for us on the bus. There's just trash bags of shirts. Uh, we, we, we could have brought a third of that, probably, right? Yeah. Uh, so tonight, Jeff, is it going to be... We couldn't figure out... We're, we're a couple podcasts behind in the broadcasting of what we've been recording. You haven't yet heard the show in Arlington, uh, which is a little Nashville-y, I guess. I don't know. It was a little more kind of raucous, kind of sloppy. Sloppy Joe, I would say. We're, Arlington? Yeah, I think we brought all black people up on stage. Yeah, we had, we had, we had, we had all eight black audience members up on stage. Uh, and, we, and, and we somehow managed to set uh, civil rights back about 45 years. <laughs> Through the simple simple fact of, yeah, just, it, it, like, we, it felt ironic and, and white guilt motivated, but then we had just a, all the black people up on, in a line, which dehumanized them. <laughs> and it, it, it was, it felt, it, for me, it felt like a bad move. Um, but uh, that's what we do out here. We experiment on the road. Um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a fun show, but a, a drunken, raucous one. Then in uh, uh, Pittsburgh, I became very ill, I think, from shaking everyone's hands and things. That, and it's not on you. Uh, uh, it's on Rhode Island. It's, yeah, so, <laughs> something's on them. That I that I'll, I'll purel so you don't get it tonight, um, but uh, the uh, uh, it was a emotionally cathartic show, Jeff. Yeah. I talked about cocaine. I cried on stage. You, uh, you tried to arouse yourself by looking at a large you, man in the you, front row. You challenged me to. You challenged me. I gave to, Dan, I gave Dan thirty. He, he proved that he could cry on stage. So I, I said, look at this gentleman up in front. This, this guy named Aaron. Uh, and uh, I didn't even put together that his name was Aaron, like the same name as his girlfriend. And I, I gave him 30 seconds on the clock to get a boner looking at him. And did you? No. He, 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 said, he said he saw it move a little. But, yeah, I mean, That yeah. doesn't count. Like... And, then, and then your girlfriend, Aaron, came out, and, uh, and she had been crying backstage because of the, uh, the technique that you used to make yourself get a boner by looking at a man was to envision a 17-year-old uh, volleyball player, right? Yeah, and like I was a gym fucking, coach. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. And, th and, then, and then d and became uh, Sally Jesse Raphael, and there was, uh, there, there, was, it was, there was deep sadness and deep, uh, deep, deep uh, ennui. Yeah. Aaron and I talked to each other about our relationship during D&D. &D. Brought, 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 the, brought the house down, but not in a, not in a funny ha-ha way. <laughs> in, a, in a sad, brought it down. Brought the house down. <laughs> Emotionally. And, uh, and then we, and then, and then we, we, we ended... Uh, so the big question is, according to Joseph Campbell, was last night the meeting with the goddess? Therefore, is tonight the beginning of the troubles? Or was last night the end of a road of trials, therefore tonight is going to be weightless and, and carefree and, 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 and mellow, like a kind of dream poppy meditative experience. <laughs> Let's experiment with that first. Let's, uh, um, do, you have any, do you have any new age music in there, Jeff? Uh, I, I have kind of like that. That's, something mellow? That's, uh, yeah, hang on a second, I do. Where are you? Can we bring the lights down just a little bit? Or... Perfect, thank you. <laughs> right, ooh, yeah. Can we bring it down even more? Even more? Even more? Uh, uh, that's good. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. 
that's really not the, what I had in mind, what you're playing, but, but right, right, right. I don't think you have. What do you, what do you want? I want a, a cosmic voyage. I want to go on a cosmic voyage. I, 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 we're, I'm using all stuff for our movie that, uh, that we have like the right to use, like un unlicensed stuff, so I don't have a whole... Is there anybody in here, is there, a how about how about is there a female vocalist in the room so talented that you think you could kind of riff just a, just a melodic kind of... Like, like a, a, Enya just kind of thing. Yeah, like an Enya kind of just copyright free Enya kind of. <laughs> see, I can practically do it. You shouldn't be that intimidated. Anybody? Or Sorry, I see your hand raised. Do you want to come up? Oh, okay. right. Just give it a shot. You can't be. Your name? Uh, Ruth. Ruth, everybody. Wow. You got a, you got a Dalek uh, snowman on your shirt. That's, that's very cool. <laughs> We see a lot of we see a lot of Doctor Who's uh, T-shirts in our in our audience. I love that. Yeah. All right, Ruth. That's why a new sports corner would work. And you was the idea. Yeah, just kind of like a yeah mythical uh, new age. Like, like you're getting like Middle you're, Earth. You're getting uh, a massage. You know, maybe maybe maybe, yeah. maybe, 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 maybe quitting smoking. Maybe yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe an elf is a uh, is, is is you know the, the nimbly running through the a woodland area or something. Like, like a non-smoking elf. Yeah. 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 Like, like a non-smoking elf. Like a. Close your eyes. Drift to the center. Come with me on a voyage of the cosmos. Your soul is not bound to your corporeal frame. It is rising, rising above the stratosphere. <laughs> nice reaver. Wow. Hey, what are you doing? You're just so sorry. Jeez, I'm trying to relax these people. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> Jesus, fucking asshole. I keep, keep going. <laughs> sorry, where were we in the stratosphere? Okay. Your body pulls back, growing ever distant from its terrestrial origins. You see Jupiter pass on the right. Goodbye, Jupiter. <laughs> it's a big planet, but not a lot happens there. Some say it's compensating for something. Some say that's a dumb joke. <laughs> then still others, and these are the people I'd agree with, uh, I'm making it up, and uh, you get what you pay for. <laughs> then another guy might come in and say, they probably paid a lot. <laughs> and uh, Then maybe a sixth guy would come in and say, how much? Uh, the seventh guy would say, at least 20 bucks, I'm imagining. I don't know. Hey, Ruth, what's up? Sorry. Well, yeah, what's going on? You're uh, making me laugh, too. You need a Hall's tablet? Or? Stay in the game, Ruth. Jesus, I'm stuck uh, just behind Jupiter. <laughs> like, <laughs> floating out here like an asshole. The cosmic show must go up on <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, can I, I, I'm sorry, every time yes. you appear in the cosmos here, you sound a little ghostly. I don't, I don't know if you understand the difference between the co cosmic I, things and, and spooky things. I don't know what you mean, man. <laughs> I'm a ghostly vampire. <laughs> I've lived in the cosmos for seven million years. <laughs> okay, sorry, please, I forgot your name, Cosmos Ruth. Lady. Ruth. Yeah, Ruth, stay, stay make with the... I'm not actually 90, if people want to know. It's 90? Yeah. Oh, because you have an old lady's name? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That kind of never crossed my mind. Yeah. Uh, 70 tops. Yeah. <laughs> Ruthie Aslan, who edited uh, Community's Best Seasons, she was, uh, she's, uh, she's a, a young, spry little hipster with Chuck Taylors. Ooh. <laughs> Jeff! <laughs> Stealing my melody. <laughs> We're, you're sinking in space now. <laughs> We've lost our momentum. We're floating ever downward through space. To the space below space. Under space. Crawl space. There's a dead chipmunk here. It's been stinking up your universe for years. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> Let's grab that chipmunk, scoop it out, get rid of it, put it in the garbage. Is this special pickup required for that? If it, if it sat there under your house for two years, it could certainly sit in the garbage for three days. Go back in the house. <laughs>
reach for the highest cabinet you can find. <laughs> Open it. There's a human head in it. <laughs> Jason's come back. He's followed you to your home outside New York. And yet, so many years later, we'd make a big deal out of him going to Manhattan. not like he's a killer that hasn't traveled before. He seems to know the transit system. I think, I think some of you 40-year-olds know what I'm talking about. Jason Voorhees, uh, plot holes. Let's get some uh, consistency at table one, the 13th. Relax. Oh, sorry. You're rising up through your own roof, leaving Jason Voorhees behind. He can't get to you anymore. You're going back out into space. You see Jupiter again. <laughs> Let's go past it. I think maybe Saturn. I can't re keep track. I can't remember. There's Venus. Oh, that's... No, that should have been... <laughs> okay, we're going the wrong way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apple Maps joke. Apple Maps joke here. Sorry for deconstructing the Apple Maps joke instead of just giving it to you straight, but... <laughs> you, uh... Uh, there's the sun. <laughs> we definitely went the wrong way. Uh, go into the center of the sun. Its heat can't hurt you. You have no body. Did you know the center of the sun is actually quite cold? It works like a refrigerator. <laughs> you know, you touch the back of a refrigerator, it burns your hand, even though it, in the inside milk is cold. <laughs> it's cold here in the center of the sun. Have a glass of milk. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Indiana. This is where you are. At the center of all. You will crave less cigarettes. Heavy creams and sauces cannot give you comfort. They will only make you gain weight. You will be more productive at work, more positive in your social affairs. Swimming will become easier for you. You will grow gills. You are now a member of my aquatic super army. Non-smoking, sauce-hating, supervising managers that swim 900 miles per hour. Now go! to earth with you. Claim my birthright. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ruth. Ruth, everybody. <laughs> rap, 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 rap. Shit. Rapping hard. Rapping in Indiana. In New York. Rapping to your mama. Rapping to your daddy. Rapping like a mimer. Said my name was old Patty. Got a cookie on my titty and my dick. Rap your mama. Your mama's name's Saint Nick. Put her in my... In the chimney, pussy. I fucked your mama, nothing rhymes with pussy. God damn it. What rhymes with pussy? Nothing rhymes with pussy. Wussy? Wussy, yeah, yeah wussy. But Gary Busey. Wussy is a. Gary, <laughs> Gary, Gary Busey's not bad. Wait, who said that? Get up on stage. Yeah. Rap battle. Come up on stage, sir. We're gonna have a rap battle. Who said battle. Gary Busey? Yeah, who said Gary Busey? Busey. Get up here. Dude, yeah. are you okay coming up? Yeah. We just want to meet you. We just want, we just want to touch you. What's your name? Matt. Matt. Hey, Matt. Hi. Yeah, Gary, Gary Busey. It's not. A, it's not a firm Ryan, but it's I think not, it holds. No, it's good enough. Man. I thought it would kind of shoehorn there a little bit in there. Yeah. Thanks. That's the, that's that's what that's what rapping's all about. Yeah. Rhyming shit that you didn't know rhymed. That's what makes Eminem and you a said genius. Gary, uh, Pussy, people would know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, if, you see, if, you, if I said I fucked your mama's titties, I fucked your pussy, I, I, I made her ass crazy like her name was Gary Busey, like, yeah. Yeah. people would be impressed by that. <laughs> they would have they they bought a t-shirt. Yeah. I think you get a t-shirt. Give, so give them a t-shirt for Gary Busey. <laughs> Matt. Matt, what's your what's your what's your fond what's your fondest ambition? What's what what can we what can we somehow give to you in the form of even just fantasy? Oh, dear God. I think that um, if Tori must got her old face back, 
<laughs> oh no, she'd been doing plastic surgery? Yeah. Oh no, I was in love with Tori Amos. You, I, yeah, you could probably imagine. Maybe you, yeah. So now I, you know I was too. Oh. I hate to admit it, sorry. Was it, she, she just kind of destroyed her looks now with, with, with work? Yeah, her, well, if you do the before and after, she has this very elfin, she has the dimples. Elf. The dimples are gone. <laughs> <laughs> It's very bad. That's a, that's a bummer. I'm it is. Sorry. Well, uh, I mean, I guess I could give that to you in the form of like a, a smartly improvised scene. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Yes. And, there's, and there's nothing else? Can we add to that? Like, uh, oh, uh, you go ahead. Just read it. No, but I mean like, uh, well, okay, I'm, I'm hearing the word pickle. No, I, I, I meant like anything else like, uh, that, you, that you want. Well, what life. happens uh, in the 13th episode after um, Giorgio Moroder helps save beer? Giorgio who? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my smooth music. I have no idea what you're talking. About. That's a yacht rock. Oh, yacht rock! Sure. Holy fuck! Wow, yacht rock. But you're asking, you're, is it a trivia question or is it an ending that you don't know? Will there ever be a, another episode? Oh, oh, yeah. I, I don't. I, that JD Risner would have to know that. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just a guy. I just played. Uh, what's his name? Uh, you didn't even know. I can't remember his name. The Ted Templeman. Yeah, I played David Lee Ross. Yeah, same episode. <laughs> same episode. <laughs> well, I want Gary Busey to be in the next Star Wars. All right, done. All right, <laughs> all right. So Gary Busey's in the next Star Wars. And Tori Amos gets her face back. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you, Disney, Matt. it's all possible. Thank Absolutely. God. Let's hear it for Matt. Matt, everybody. <laughs> done. It is a dark time for the rebellion. Uh, Gary Busey's in Star Wars. And Tori Amos is on planet Boogaflap uh, looking at her face. I want it to be prettier. <laughs> Subtitles, uh, would you like a better looking face, uh, Jedi Tori? <laughs> Yes, I would. Pew, pew, pew. From outside, blast the, the door, blast open. Ba -ba 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 Copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, winch comes out of her uh, face and uh, goes up to a rafter. Uh, uh, she goes up to a thing on the roof and the, there's a clinic and she gets a better face. <laughs> you can cut. Quite a good improv is knowing when you when to throw in the towel. <laughs> and that's the end. That's the, the, you, you were back to the DVD menu there. That's why. He was, <laughs> let's go to special features. Yeah, uh, and deleted Gary Busey scenes. <laughs> <laughs> special features, deleted Gary Busey scenes. Uh, featurette featuring Gary Busey talking uh, 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 behind the scenes about, it's been, it's been a very uh, interesting uh, experience. Uh, when, when you, when you, Star Wars is not a movie. It's a state of mind, and it's merged with what I've done to create a, a shamanic experience. Subtitles, Star Wars is not a movie, it's a state of mind to create a sort of shamanic experience. Uh, alright, here. Well, I hope Matt got what he wanted out of that. Well, I think, I think the audience got what he wanted. Yeah. Deleted scene where Gary Busey, uh, spaces down with, uh, I guess, uh, Darth Vader. He spaces down? Yeah, he spaces down. I said uh, fa I was trying to say oh, faces off, and I got a little drunk. Okay. No, no, no. no. This is a, this is a. Uh, it's a rare. It's a space down. Surrender your lightsaber, Darth Vader. It's something you need to do to understand the way lore works. You're fucked up. <laughs> You know, that's a very interesting phrase people use when they speak of me and fucked up. So it makes me wonder why or the other world's fucked up. Oh, it's like their polarity uh, is You should have worn a helmet. <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right. Yeah, deleted scene. Star Wars Gary Busey. Yeah. You guys didn't know you were going to come in here and get fucking high octane Whose Line Is It Anyway style improv up here.
I like to sprinkle a little in. Yeah. You're a, you're a quadruple threat. I don't mind. I don't you, got, you got improv, rapping, sports knowledge. Yeah. And uh, I don't mind springing a little in, yeah, like a little mainstream, like a uh, really really tight, awesome comedy like that into the show. Yeah. I feel like uh, we, Spencer was not used enough in that. We that, that, we we we, we, oh, yeah. we we misused a resource there. Spencer, what what does it sound like when? Um, uh, shit. Is this doing the thing? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Just making sure. We found a thing that Spencer can do. He can kind of freestyle Dungeon Master any kind of monster attacking you. So you can make up a, a monster and he instantly goes into what, uh, like the, 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 the character description of the monster. Uh, Spencer, uh, 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 a... Uh, Gary Busey. Uh, Gary Busey. Uh, a guy that I don't recognize walks into the room. He says he's from things, but you're not entirely sure. <laughs> He might just be one of LA's crazy people. Okay. Sorry, I don't watch movies. He doesn't know who Gary Busey is. Right? Yeah. Sorry. I mean, I know who he is. He's a guy who's famous for like acting. Yeah. But like that describes many, many people. He was in Point Break. You ever see that? What? The... Oh. That was a good Keanu impression. Everyone, actually. shut up! Yeah, no. You, I just, you, you, you I don't, don't see you, things. You don't watch. You don't watch any movies? I don't watch most movies. If I, if if someone says, "Do you want to watch a movie?" I'll say, "Nope." <laughs> That's a good policy. It's so, kept your brain free for like all every entry in the monster manual. Yeah, all the other you know useless yeah. factoid information. You know what an owl bear is. You know that you know an owl bear's <laughs> armor class. No, it's sixteen. <laughs> that, that might not be right. You don't know. In my day, armor class was a negative numbers. So. Yeah, yeah, it was a uh, backo was a thing. Yeah, a good time to hit armor night. class zero. Yeah, yeah, it used to actually be hard. Yeah. <sighs> Just name a not movie reference or something. All right, yeah. all right. Uh, 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 a a divorced uh, uh, employee of a craft store. Store. Craft store. Uh, that's the monster that's attacking. You hear the steps and jangles of someone with made too many items in his apron. <laughs> you smell the whiskey before you see him. <laughs> right in the corner is a drunken craft employee. <laughs> He's holding handfuls of paper stickers that no doubt cost 20 times more what you'd pay for them. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Divorced craft store. <laughs> that was a hard one. We started drinking after the divorce. Uh, how about uh, Spencer uh, uh, Dan Harmon waking up on the tour bus? How about that one? Yeah. The door creaks open, and you can hear several people running for cover. You hear the of the sliding privacy curtain, and then a thump as a large figure rolls out of bed onto the floor. Standing at full height, he arranges himself before scratching his belly and moving to the next room. <laughs> that's all, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta bring up the guy that, that is dressed uh, yeah, as uh, my wizard character. Yeah, there's a D Dan Harmon Gandalf uh, uh, thing going on here. What is your name? Cayman. Cayman. No. Well, come on stage. <laughs> Wait, uh, Cayman? Cayman, uh, for, the, for the people listening, he's wearing a blue bathrobe. He has a, was it a scepter, a walking stick? What do you got there? What do you call those? Wizard staff. Wizard staff. Yeah, there you go. With the kettle one, a light up kettle one. Uh, for, for Ray of Frost. He has, a, he has a light up blue kettle one bottle on top of a staff. And he's got a. Is that a prop, or are you really drinking kettle one well, tonight? I figured, I figured if I'm going to be drink, if I'm going to be dressing up like you, I should larp and drink. Uh, right. Vodka yeah. as well. Here's to larping. <laughs> larp it up. Live action role playing. That's kind of what this podcast has become, Jeff. As of us like working our relationship troubles out on stage, bringing people up, talking in real time to the people. We are larping. Our, Harmon Town is larping. Now, did you uh, do you live alone? Do you have roommates or a girlfriend? No, I live alone, and I was actually supposed to come with a girl, but she canceled on me. So. Uh, would she have got? Well, but I, I, I see the irony. In this. <laughs> would she have understood what, what what the purpose of all this was? No, she was completely. Uh, she had no idea what Harmon Town was. Is that why she didn't come, do you think, possibly? No, well, she said she was sick, so... All right, okay. All right, what's her name? Uh, Grace, I believe. Fuck you, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more like clumsy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two days minimum. Notice. <laughs> Grace. How ironic. I'm gonna name you Grace so you're out in the world and trip over people's feelings. 
go, 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 go. Be a bull in a china shop, Grace. She sounds like an awful person. Maybe she's, sorry. Maybe, maybe she's having a, a Grace period. She's, she's been, she's been, she's been thriving on one, on the part of the universe for, uh, how old is she? I don't actually know. 23 years. <laughs> and, uh, tonight, the irony is that if she had come here, she would have avoided that uh, blimp accident. <laughs> Did you just curse Grace with a blimp accident? <laughs> See, and that's, that's how, you know, timelines work and shit, sliding doors stuff. If she would have, she, you, you guys Facebooked each other, you were like, okay, one last ritual before we meet at uh, the comedy attic. Let's each send each other photos of what we're wearing to make sure <laughs> that we don't wear the same thing. And then she's sick all of a sudden. I, I really think uh, the only periwinkle blue robe I could find was a woman's is that, robe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that, that, that's periwinkle, huh? I, well, actually, I don't know. I, Wait, what? Periwinkle's a hard color to find. Oh. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's powder blue, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's blue. Okay. It's, 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 there's a lot. There's, there's all exclusively female voices like calling out all kinds of. The, the room became a vocal swatch catalog for a second. <laughs> Robin's eggs, aquafoams, sing zang. A lot of a lot of nurseries uh, going up this this part of town this weekend. Uh, I'm, I kind of yeah. I would just say blue, like, but and I I, I I see navy blue as black. Is that a kind of color blindness or? No, well, under certain light, because you, you normally hang out in dark environments. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Na like I wear a navy blue suit, you'd think it was black. Yeah, that's black, right? No. <laughs> this is uh this is uh, charcoal. This, this is tangerine. <laughs> I mean charcoal. That charcoal's different from black, but charcoal's totally black. Charcoal. It's not smoky. <laughs> It's dumb. It seems like a dumb thing to spend your brain on. I, 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 I uh, uh, artists. Um, what, what do you have on? Kind of a pumpkin? A rust? What is this? It's red. It's not red. Red and brown. No, because you, yours is orangish, right? Mine's more red. Red. I'd say his has a bit more orange. Than Same mine, color. Still pretty red. Yeah. Yours is made out of multiple different colors of material. I mean, it's a it together. Dumb. Colors are dumb. Fuck colors, that. colors, sports, most most bands, um, uh, uh, horoscopes, um, uh, uh, other people, uh, magic, um, uh, Harry Potter. Yeah, I know. I, I, I didn't. I didn't come here to win a popularity contest. Uh, uh, I mean, I saw that 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 last Harry Potter movie is playing in the hotel room. You don't mind hanging out here? Do you? No, no, okay, good. <laughs> Uh, that last Harry Potter movie is playing in the in the hotel rooms right now. It's kind of in rotation. Uh, uh, I, I can't. There's like I made a joke like put on the Harry Potter movie to Aaron, and she's like, "Oh, I can't believe it's on." It's like there's 900 of them, and 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 they're all the the same. Like the, 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 Deathly Deathly Shadows Part Part Seven or whatever, and and like it, 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 like like they, they they sure know how to make a war between wizards look a lot like standing around. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know what what contrivance you have to engage in before you get to this point in in where there's a bunch of wizards fighting a bunch of other wizards. But I would think at that point even a six year old could make it exciting. You know, like you go, there's two armies of wizards now. At least for this part, we could get a little interesting. And I did see a couple giant spiders, but they were really buried in the background. <laughs> dumb, dumb movies. Spencer, <laughs> so much, so much. The, the movie keeps 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 jabbing you in the ribs and going, huh? How about that book, huh? <laughs> Fuck you. I don't. I didn't read the book. I waited for the movie. I'm not a bad person. I don't care. It reminds you of the book. It's stupid. I, I read the book then if you like it so much. Irish Jerry Seinfeld. What are you doing oh. here? <laughs> It's like, are you gonna occupy us or aren't you? How many cars do we have to blow up? <laughs> Cease fire. <laughs> More like an incessant fire. <laughs> Anyways, it's called rugby, but there's grass everywhere. <laughs> Why not call it Graspy? <laughs> Irish Jerry Seinfeld, everybody. <laughs> I like that you decided that it was over, too. Oh, okay. uh, wait, wait, wait. You could top that one? You, you were going to top Raspy? Uh, no, no, well, I was going to try. Oh, but do it. Well, fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> 
No, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to stage, Irish Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> Some things just don't make any sense when you look around and observe them through your Irish eyes. You know, why are horseshoes lucky? The worst case scenario is they fall on your head. The best case is they just sit there. How is that lucky? It's not lucky for the horse. You think they like getting those put on them? It probably hurts. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Glenn Levitt? Glenn? Oh, that's Scottish. <laughs> What's the difference between Irish and Scottish? You ever, you ever wonder? It's, it all comes down to the skirts. It's like, you know, uh, I'm Irish Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, potato famine. Uh, uh, I mean, what? Uh, so what if the potatoes ran out? Have a hot dog. It's stupid. It's <laughs> so dumb. That's more offensive to Jerry Seinfeld than to Irish people. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's had years to write stuff down. Clay Clayman? Cayman. Cayman. Yeah. Should be Clayman. Yeah. Bill Clayman. That's my Alan Rickman. Oh, oh sorry, Professor C. Uh, no, no, that, uh, from Die Hard. Oh. When, it, when Bruce Willis asks him, which, uh, I never got your name. And then, and then Bill Bruce Willis is looking at the sign behind him, and then uh, you know Alan Rickman, uh, without looking at the sign, says, "Clay, Bill Clay," <laughs> and then they and then they, they engage in this beautiful dance between hero and villain. But but, but they show Clay W right, so it right. might be William. So like he right. puts an extra little thing in there. Yeah, a little yeah. fucking reality spin, like because he's done his work, and it's like the hero and the villain are doing this ballet and. You know, it's like, and then he's, and then Bruce Willis starts to walk away, and Alan Rickman goes, She feeds the shukin back and The what? The what? The huh? No, 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 that's shoot the glass, that's later. Oh. And then he, and then he points the gun at him, and, and Bruce Willis goes, uh, It's a hell of an accent, Hans. You could, you could be in fucking Hollywood with that accent. And then he, and then he tries to shoot him, like he did with Takagi, click. Oh, what do you think, I'm a fucking idiot? He takes the gun, it's amazing. It's a great movie, you should rent it. <laughs> Bill Clay. Um, Cayman, have you seen Die Hard? Die Hard, yeah, many times. Die Hard, not in the Criterion Collection of films. What, well, Dan, do you consider it a Christmas movie? Uh, yeah, 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 I think it's a great Christmas yeah, movie. Yeah, but I also think it's a great, great movie, plain and simple. Not such a great movie, Armageddon, in the Criterion Collection. <laughs> Armageddon's in the Criterion what? Collection? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Fucking weird. <laughs> the Rock, also in the Criterion Collection. Well, yeah. Now I'm starting to, yeah, there's some yeah. kind of, something, some payola going on here. <laughs> More like Cash Tyrion. <laughs> right? There's some kind of something happening here, right? Cayman? Indeed. Cayman, what do you do? I, I'm a scientist, actually. For real? Yeah. In what field? Um, kind of a combination of fields. I, I study... Uh, planets around other stars and what they need to be able to support life. Planet, so is Jesus. that planetary or, or ge I, I'm, geologist? It's like a combination or? of geology and astronomy. Really? How yeah. cool! Yeah, that's fascinating. Yeah. So, you, so you look for like uh, planets that might be like Earth-like planets that, that could sustain life, but based on their proximity to the star or their... yeah, and what they're made of, and all sorts of other things. And we're we're finding these 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 new planets all the time now, right? We're finding like a hundred. Yeah, we've got like over seven hundred and fifty confirmed ones that are that are confirmed possible Earth. Type. No, like Earth-like, we're actually are having a very hard time finding them. What What are the seven hundred fifty? Seven hundred fifty what? Do you mean a, uh, just planets, whether they're the size of Jupiter or oh, oh, bigger oh, than Earth. just planets? Oh, yeah. I thought we'd confirm. I, I, th I thought we're finding planets little. by the thousands and thousands. Right, but we haven't confirmed them. Yet. Oh, 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 you have to actually. Like, How does a planet you have get to hit it with a BB gun? <laughs> <laughs> Takes forever. Yeah, they, they, have, they have two little flags hanging from their hips, and you got to pull one off. <laughs> Uh, so how, uh, do you, how do you confirm it? Well, you just go back and look through with a, another nerd telescope. Oh, so it's like so it's a, see if it check if you're. Yeah, it could right. be a yeah. smudge on one guy's yeah, telescope. Exactly. Those right. Swedish fuckers. Okay. <laughs> what telescope do you guys use? I don't. I don't actually use a telescope. So I, I, steal, I steal other people's. <laughs> what, what, what is your What is your task? Like, what's your role in all this? So I look more at the uh, chemistry end and say, if you've got this much oxygen and this much other stuff, can you make a planet that is habitable? 
Right. So. And there's nothing that you th in, in the the near or distant universe that you think could could sustain life. Oh, I, I think possibly. Yeah, it's it's. I would say it would be weird if Earth was the only one. Oh, so. certainly, yeah. yeah. But like uh, even in our in our own solar system, like there's like Enceladus or there's some moons of you know like that. Yeah. that they think that we, that we know there's liquid water there, and there's more extreme environments on Earth where life does exist or at least did. So it'd be logical to think it's possible that, right? Right. It's and my research is saying, what does it take to get to that point of making it possible? Uh -huh. yeah. And does your your expertise probably stop sh somewhere short of of my next question, which is, on these planets that are capable of, of uh, uh, they have a kind of an Earth approximate environment, and then carbon based life mm -hmm. springs up on them, how? kind of inevitable is sentience uh or, or is that like a weird flash in the pan too that it would be like it's a really dumb question so it's, it's definitely a more of a biology question but um i, I said so but, but, uh, <laughs> i'm a scientist too no not a degree no <laughs> So uh, we don't know, but there's this really cool thing called the Drake Equation, which is sort of a calculation of how likely would sentient life be in. And one of the parameters is what are the chances of sentience, and we don't know. Yeah. So that's a cool question. I mean, it's kind of because it's like we we think with our sentience that it's inevitable, even 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 if you're, you're not a religious brain, person, because we we like 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 I tend to think with the atheist part of my brain even that. That oh of course a planet that lives and breathes and that has life crop up on it of course the final goal is the biological weapon known can we, as can we a giant a brain. Um, just realize you're talking to a guy in a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so who, who's the crazy one? You said, <laughs> you said you were a scientist. I can, I can say anything I want. It's, okay. I have confidentiality, right? There's, I, he I might, raped he, a uh, he baby. He might not be a scientist. <laughs> Wait, he works at our hotel. <laughs> Wait, that's my bathroom. <laughs> He's wearing your shoes. <laughs> we haven't really had like a stalker yet on the tour. Uh, will well, you, will you be in? Stalk. Well, I mean, uh, I, I drove pretty far to get here, so it's kind of hard to. I guess well, that's stalking, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Is like people drive. Like I talk, I talk to everybody after the show, and uh, that's willing to stick around that long. And I, I, uh, um, and as long as they have uh, uh, some kind of flu on their hands. That's right. One of your girlfriend's uh, red hairs has been hanging out your chin like some sort of weird. Oh, tail really? Hair. Was that was that really distracting all that time? Yeah. Now, look, look, I'm sorry. Of, look at this. It won't. It, it's... Just wow. just say something next time. Not that this will happen again a lot, but just say something. If I'd have said something, you would have fumbled with it. You never would have got it out. No, I'm I'm telling even them. Oh, like, yeah. like like they're the ones that were dealing with it. The, the, the applause that occurred when you did that <laughs> makes me feel really bad. It makes me feel like you zipped up my fly. Well, the thing is, from my vantage point, because it was I'm stage left of you, and the hair I think was stage right, and it was it was kind of falling little by little. I just like one of the hairs of your beard was growing. Yeah. <laughs> something fucking weird. Going like on. when you were ta talking to somebody. And they just got the, like the slightest white fleck on their lip, and it's such a bummer because you don't want to. Right now, everyone went. Yeah, it's like it's not their fault. It's not your fault. It's not your responsibility. It's not theirs. You don't know what to do. They're talking. They have a fleck of foam on their lip, and it's just, it's, uh, it's just uh, like, uh, yeah. I don't. It's. It, uh, uh, there was a guy in Amsterdam that was telling us about windmills, uh, and he, he wasn't speaking in English. He was speaking in uh, whatever they speak there, windmill talk, and. Uh, <laughs> And he was just talking, and he was all excited about windmills and how they mill things using the wind power. And 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 and, and just this little bubble of spit came out and just rolled over his lip, and it was just there. And I was just I could I, I don't speak uh, uh, a sweet mark or whatever they they talk anyway. Dutch. So I uh, I'm, I'm, I was just focused on this thing and his lip, and I just that just popped in my head when you pull. I didn't want them to be subjected to that. If there's a hair, if there's anything, could be a piece of egg on your forehead. Um, you know, we need rules for that stuff. I, or just maybe a friend comes up and takes it off and gets a big laugh out of it. But you can't always do that. Sometimes you're talking to a guy about windmills, you know? And, like, and sometimes who cares? You know, I, I, I ate in a restaurant in uh, on that same vacation. I was in uh, London, had Christmas dinner with Rob Schraub and his wife, Kate Freud, and my girlfriend, Erin, having a little couple's Christmas vacation in Europe because we're fancy. And, uh, and we were in this uh, restaurant in London and uh, a little, little, little bit of a tumult at the entrance and people file in and then this wheelchair comes in, Stephen Hawking. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, he ate like nine feet from me. Like everybody was like trying to take pictures of him. And I, I didn't want to. I don't want to be like a fly on a turd. You, yeah, you can't. You can't really walk up and go. Excuse me. Can I have, can I have a word with Mr. Hawking real quick? Shrab kept saying. He kept going. Don't tell him you created Community. <laughs> <laughs> he was on The Simpsons. Forty like percent chance he might have. Was like, that's th first of all, thank you, Rob. But second of all, it doesn't. I don't. I think also like if you were like if I were if I were Stephen Hawking and a guy came over and said like like if you came over, you're a scientist. I think. I am. Then I would be like, if I the, then I would feel okay going up to him. So like, I, I kind of understand some of the things you talk about and, and why you are famous. Uh, it's uh, and, and and I teach a class or something. If I had a photo on my wall of me posing with you, that would be cool. Like like and and then he'd be like, yeah, it's okay. And um, <laughs> but but like regular people coming up to him and going like, hey, yeah, wheelchair guy. Like, <laughs> like, it's like I know you've invented black holes, but like. You don't really. I don't understand anything he does. I don't understand why why he's. You know, I can't. I feel like I'm not allowed to uh, take a picture of him, especially because he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> if if he were just a nice like if, uh, ambulatory dude having dinner, would, would you have felt comfortable walking up to him then? I'm not sure. That's 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 a really interesting question. Because part of what make, part of Stephen Hawking's charisma is like, oh God, he's he's all brain. <laughs> We're all thinking it like that. It's amazing that it's like this cool poetic thing. Like, oh man, God took like took all his body power and put it into his head it's like a like a little little balloon. So, like put all the air into one section of it, and did, did, you know. Did, did, I heard something. Neat. That, it's I, neat. I heard something that like he like, he keeps being found with like bruises on his body, and like like and he keeps saying like, oh, my, I fell out of my chair, but like. It, the, 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 the injuries aren't consistent with somebody falling out of a chair, and they think that it may be like kind of S and M kind of stuff. Like he, he's having. Have you, has anybody heard that? I've heard that. Yeah. 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 It's like, like, into like sex clubs and shit. Yeah, it's like like if like, if, if, if you if your body is very limited in its movement and probably limited in its sensation, like sex might involve just like a broom handle, just fucking whack, you know, like like, like right. and and also fucking if anyone deserves it, it's it's him. Yeah. yeah. Like, 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 Jolly Rogers. Say what? Let him get his Jolly Rogers, says a gay pirate over here. <laughs> <laughs> Let him get his Why add Rogers? Like, is that an Indiana thing? We just, it's just Jollies in Los Angeles. Uh, maybe we have more shit to do. Jolly Rogers. Yeah. <laughs> He's sucking me nuts. <laughs> Why, why, why are pirates always getting their nuts sucked? <laughs> oh, Jerry McSeinfeld. <laughs> why, why is it pieces of eight? Why not just take eight pieces? No, nope. I can't. Hey, cast a wide net. I'm gonna hit a couple. I'll get, I'll get another Graspy. Right. Graspy was a goodie. That was a good idea. That was fucking good. It's so good you didn't even get it until I said it. Oh, I, I got said, it. I said, why do they call it rugby? There's grass everywhere. And you went, whoa, no, whoa. No, no. And then I said, call it graspy. And you're like, whoa. <laughs> like, and I was like, yeah. I fucking, that Damn, was like. When I, you... I got it. I got it. Well, I, I, I mean, I, I, was... re I remembered it different. I felt like I, I felt like hitting the 710 split. Like, like it was kind of like I hit the thing and then you were like, what? And there was a delay and then the ball went in the thing. I'm mixing sports. Is this sports clue? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Break down, rap and sports corner. Sports corner introduction or rap? You don't know. It's a Schrodinger's rap. Is it an intro or a regular rap? You don't know till the positrons collide with the negatrons. Gonna open the box, it's theoretical. Fuck your mama like your name was hypothetical. It's the same word, basically. Fuck your mom like her name was Pythagoras. I fucked your mom like she was a stegosaurus. Kind of. It's all scientific words, doesn't matter. Okay, thank you. Sci science rap. Schrodinger's rap. I won't, I won't question uh, 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 what you guys deem worthy of, of, of applause, but uh, I just won't. <laughs> but, but you disagree with that, with that applause. <laughs> I, 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 Frankly, I, sirs and madams, I yeah, disagree yeah, with your yeah, applause yeah. there. <laughs> I wouldn't let me get away that easy, is what I'm saying. Uh, uh, you paid top dollar. What were the tickets? What, 20, 20, 20 bucks? Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Who, dro who drove that? What? what? 100. Oh, you're joking. Some, some girl said, what? I paid 100. 
Uh, and you were, and it was it was worth it, right? Uh, who 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 drove the furthest? Sometimes that's an embarrassing thing to answer. Like some people are proud of it, some people are ashamed. I t I've talked to people who drove six hours to gigs. So. We got Louisville, Cincinnati, Cincinnati Columbus, and, and those are like uh, how far away? I mean, four or five. <laughs> it's kind of hard to have this conversation with hundred people. <laughs> what and what's your name? <laughs> Jimmer Harmon, Nancy. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that's amazing when people drive all that way. And then, and then sometimes I go, "Are you staying in a hotel here tonight?" And they say, "No, they're gonna drive all the way back." And then sometimes I, I reach out and I take their hand and I say, "You're staying with me." <laughs> and whether it's a dude or a girl or hopefully both. Aaron and I take him back to our hotel room at the Comfort Inn, and we put on some Chardonnay. We smoke a J. Do a little TM. It's transcendental meditation. Uh, and basically enact that uh, SNL sketch about the guys that like Quantro. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> all right, Cayman, what do we do for you? What do you want? What do I want? Um, I'm kidding. I don't want to. Oh. No, I mean, I mean, what do you want? I just didn't mean to say it in a weird I'll, I'll way. I'll take some vodka. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll take that. I don't mean to steal No, 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 you've earned it. You've earned it. If you're under these lights, uh, drink, drink your science spinach. Well, it, it's, it's Monday night. Every night is drink night for scientists. It's, it's what powers science, basically. Really? Yeah. So, like, most science gets done Tuesday morning, or? or? Uh, uh, most science gets done at the bar. Oh, yeah, thank you. you guys get drunk and then the are there are there are any science bars in town where <laughs> the, 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 the slide rule uh, the, 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 the the veiny the slide rule the, the graduated <laughs> cylinder the, <laughs> the nano shot uh, the flask. the flask Okay. Uh, Erwin Meyer class. The dot connector. Uh, 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 Schrodinger's hangover. E equals Jim Beam squared. No, that's, not a that's a specific drink special at, at that place. W wine. Wine steins. Yeah. Wine. <laughs> Come on. Anybody got one? Adam Goldberg, everybody. <laughs> That's not nice. That's Garrett with one R. <laughs> From Nashville, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's the, uh, what's the one where the ladies dance in a bar and make Jane cut your sentence Coyote Ugly. Coyote Ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beekman's World is a Coyote Ugly of science bars. That was too long. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. That was a Mobius strip. I got it. <laughs> The Mobius Strip Club. The Mobius Strip Club. Uh, where, where, where there's only one titty, but it goes up like it's like it's all that's it's all around. And there's, there's no nipple. Yeah. <laughs> Infinite titties. Yeah. Yeah. You, you get a lap dance, but it's like all of a sudden it's, you're on her lap, and it's yeah. like. Uh, Put your hands together for Tesseract. <laughs> She's a wrinkle in time, boys. <laughs> get your tips out. <laughs> She's got infinite titties, but we don't have infinite time. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Heisenberg's principle still applies. If you touch it, it stops being allowed. <laughs> Don't forget, you can get a private lap dance in the wormhole. <laughs> Who knows what goes by that, back there? Get your super strings out. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's getting, it's getting grody. <laughs> It's singularity night. Anybody who came alone. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So what's the uh, what's the uh, uh, what's it? We've got a scientist up on stage, Jeff. What, 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 yeah. What uh, pop quiz. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. You ask him science questions and try to stump him. Okay. Uh, oh could could uh, science uh, ever? Well, I mean. Fight the predator. <laughs> <laughs> Who would win in a fight? Science, Science or the predator? Science could at least see the predator. 
Right. So and measure him. But whether we could fight him or not, yeah. or her, I don't know. Right. Nice. Very scientific. Very open-minded. Predator might be a lady. <laughs> Social science. All right. Well, let's have a hand for Cayman and Cayman. Uh, everybody, back to his lab. Yeehaw! Science. Science, science, science. Well, two plus two is four. And a boot plus a boot is a shoe. I'm a funky science cowboy. How do you do? I'd like to take you back to my ranch shack and put you on your back. Give a double slide rule track. Fuck your butt and lick your nuts. Put my hat on the foot of your bed. Not much of rhyming happening, but I got a big bull crapping out in the back with my Carl Sagan Shack Science Cowboy. <laughs> Outer space is the place for me. Got a big green face and no TV. Got a big boot cowboy, boot fork, boot plate. <laughs> Line dancing, square dancing. Four lines make a square. <laughs> I played the short version. I fucked up. You got a, you got a big bull crapping it. <laughs> Fuck his butt, <laughs> lick his nuts, and, but you, you put your hat in the foot of his bed. <laughs> For sure, because you're a science cowboy. <laughs> it's, it's what you do, it's called peer review. It's a scientific principle. It's, uh, his ass is the control. I'll see. Yeah. I'll see the, the hypothesis is over. <laughs> Hat's on your bed, you got fucked. <laughs> Law now. <laughs> I think science. Uh, nobody ever understands this when I say this. That science is like the, the the best religion. Like scientists get offended by that because they're like, we're not a religion. And of course, religious people don't want to think that science is a religion. But I mean, religion should be like 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 what? How how much more like religious can you get than trying to figure out how everything works? Like 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 uh, and and everybody joining hands. And moving toward the center of the universe and trying to find like 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 corner God and either he's gonna be there or nothing will be there in which case nothing is God who who cares it's still awesome like like just like playing peekaboo with like the origins of everything and like not letting it escape uh, by calling each other out on everything and publishing all your findings and being open source and like kneeling before this altar of these rules that say this is how you figure shit out. Always, you know, it, like always be careful. Always be calling yourself out on your own bullshit. Otherwise, someone will also call you out on it. And kind of like, it's a beautiful little. And they have little outfits. They have little white coats. <laughs> Even if they're not doing anything that involves, you know, it's, it's kind of priestly. It's kind of clerical. Yeah. You know, and it is the, the it is the new religion. I mean, obviously, for better or for worse. Well, like, but, but, but some people use that as an excuse to get all jaded and cynical. They're like, oh, well, there is no God. Well, yeah, there's not a Santa Claus God. We know that. We disprove that. Like when we uh, d dug up a dinosaur bone, but uh, like we, we 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 you know it, 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 you don't have to be an asshole just because uh, 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 your mom was wrong. Like, uh, like, like, like you know yeah we have like hover cars and stuff but, you know don't, now more than ever don't be a dick because uh, you could hit more people with a hover car. Like we get bombs that could blow up the whole world. A, get a, be a good person. This is like, a, like, 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 like Genghis Khan would do a lot of damage these days. You know? <laughs> I, scientists, scientists have to like they're the only ones that can save us. I think if they. <laughs> If they, if they adopt a kind of like, you know, humanist perspective and go, okay, look, we're a group of scientists and we've decided like we gotta be, we gotta be cool to one another. Uh, because no, no, one's li no one else has any power. Nobody's listening to anybody else because the other people that are saying you have to be cool to one another are also hiding rapists. They, like they're, they're not, you know, they, they can't be trusted. They're weird. They say that the Bible's a newspaper. They're like you know, backward. They, uh... Yeah, don't, don't be evil. Which mean which means just don't like hurt other people because it's your species, you know, like 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 that's scientific. Pr pr protect the DNA. We were we were a nearly extinct species, and we we were in God's crosshairs so many times. Like this planet's been trying to kill us forever. 
Like, like, like we're, we're a freak. We're, we're, we're like the Harry Potter of species. <laughs> like, we're not supposed to be walking around with these big melons on top of our shoulders. Like, we, 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 took, we took weird risks to get where we are. Uh, but there are people that say that, that, that competition between humans, like, there are people that think that that's what makes us advance. Like, that, that, that human conflict is, is that that's, that's what propels. Uh, you know, progress. Well, that may have been. Maybe that was true for six thousand years, and now it, now it has to stop being true. I mean, maybe, maybe it's like 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 we're we're choking on each other, we're sleeping on top of each other. If you want, also want to stab somebody, it's like well, that's gonna. A lot of people are gonna get stabbed. <laughs> like I think when you were when we were tribal and you were walking around, and then you encountered another tribe. Yeah, maybe the instinct to not all lay down together and have half as many berries. Uh, maybe that was like a bad idea. Maybe it was important to slit each other's throat and so whoever picks berries better like, survived that day. Um, but we're in a tour bus now. If I, if, I, if, I, if I got berries on the mind and a switchblade in my hand, you, you're a dead man. <laughs> it was more important that we figure out a set of rules so we can all have some berries. And there's also too many berries. We know how to make a million berries. We make fake berries. There's a whole store every five miles full of like, weird frankenberries. Thank you, sir. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Don't forget Booberry. <laughs> it's not that kind of dialogue. Uh, it's not just say anything. Uh, but how are you supposed to know until you try? Just yell at the names of products. It's fine. I heard Listerine, uh, Hula Hoop. Uh, this guy's mad at his dad. It's fine. God knows I don't have anything to say. Uh, what was I talking about? Scientists? Yeah, I don't know. You're talking about, about tribal people stabbing each other. And now that we are seven billion strong, now that we know how to make uh, buildings float, and, uh, almost, look it up. <laughs> We're almost about to be able to clone each other, and uh, computers are almost smarter than us, and all this shit's coming to a head. Like, we better, we gotta get our shit together, not physically, like, like emotionally. We gotta get our shit together spiritually, for lack of a better word. We have, to, we have to know when this next catastrophe happens, like what our priorities are. It's about to happen. We got, we got, we got a couple days left, Jeff. Three days left. <laughs> when does this podcast drop? Uh, four days from now. <laughs> we really should speed that up. I hope you find it in a bottle uh, on dry land. Uh, the, the, uh, I, 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 yeah, I, 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 I want to be a cult leader. Let's, 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 uh, uh, we'll work on that as we head back home. All right. I, I think right now it's time to... Say what? Cult leader, Indiana. Oh, really? Yeah, Indiana is... Jim Jones. Oh, really? Jim Jones is from Indiana? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this guy says Jim Jones was a Sunday school teacher at his grandma's church. Wow. Is your grandma alive? Yes. Okay, good. Good. Jesus. Holy smoke. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A any other infamous Hoosiers? <laughs> John Dillinger? John Dillinger? Larry Bird. <laughs> Larry Bird, notorious baby raper. <laughs> huh? Ed Gein? No. Greg Kinnear? <laughs> <laughs> the infamous Greg Kinnear. <laughs> John Mellencamp. John Mellencamp. <laughs> so I looked. At, I saw that on Wikipedia. Cool. John Mellencamp still lives here, right? Michael, Michael Jackson. Gary and the Anderson, Indiana. <laughs> Not Louisiana, Paris, France, New York, or Rome. But Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. My home sweet home. Jeez, wow. Big, big music man following here. But, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 have to, they have to keep a, they're in a, a neck and neck competition with Oklahoma for mentions in a musical. <laughs> they gotta, like, they, if they let it slip in, in this state, it's like, everyone's going, oh, that, that wonderful Actually, musical that, where they mention that state, Indiana, Oklahoma. Indiana's 14th in musical mentions. <laughs> All right, D&D &D time, everybody. It's D&D &D time. <laughs> All right. Can we get Aaron up here? Aaron McGathy to the stage. Aaron McGathy. <laughs> Also, a guy named Bland has some dice for me. Bland? Yeah. His name is Bland. Bland. The dice are not Bland, however. Bland. Is it Bland? Like B-L-A-N-D? What? <laughs> All right. A, a, gentleman, oh, a gentleman has come on stage carrying a satchel. Thank you. Bland. And he has a Pringles can over his dick. He's wearing a Pringles can out of his dick. Do people ever call you? 
do people ever call you prickles? Or? Some. Yeah. Oh, the flavor is even. Did you, did you pick out that can? Uh, yeah, nice. Specific. But I've got there's a surprise inside here. Oh, no. uh, someone's gonna get the Jolly Rogers. <laughs> Oh, no, guys, it's a donation to a kid's charity. So. Oh, it's a canoe Wow, that is some meta shit. Uh, for those of you who have no idea what's going on, I kind of do. We have a song... There's, we have a songs about Pringles' dick and we, uh, that we sing on the bus, and also a song about where you hold a Pringles can. Wait, how did you hear that, too? You just put it through your fly? I, yeah. Well, you probably have, like, a big dick in the way when you do this stuff. I have... I've been I've been able to do this for years. Here I am. Yeah. I've got a dick, I got a chicken noodle can. All my life. I've been putting this can inside my chicken noodle wife. Chicken noodle god come down from the mountain saying, Chicken noodle man, you gotta work all day. Chicken noodle man, you gotta cross the river Jordan and feed the devil soup until your troubles go away. Soup to the bowl, bowl to the spoon. Spoon to your mouth, you're gonna get well soon. You gotta get a little bit of sleep until noon. Grab a pot of coffee, then head to the saloon. Singing, Chicken noodle god, come down from the mountain. Saying, Chicken noodle man, you gotta work all day. Chicken noodle man, you gotta cross the river Jordan and feed the devil soup until your troubles go away. Well, the wind blows south and come work me. My chicken noodle wife let me just the other day. There's not much. I can do but pray because chicken noodle man you gotta work all day chicken noodle man come down from the mountains and chicken noodle man you gotta work all day chicken noodle man you gotta cross the river Jordan chicken noodle soup until your troubles go away Bland everybody giving the gift of a chicken noodle can outside of a Pringles can uh, we have to write a song that fits inside a chicken noodle soup can, and then it's like this uh, Russian nesting dolls. Yeah. But I was just thinking, Bland, I am so sorry about the either already having occurred or imminent homicide of your parents. Bland the fourth. Uh, Bland the fourth. Bland the fourth. Your dad, meaning like, did your dad name four kids Bland or? It's, it's Bland with no D, right? Or is it Bland? Uh, and, and you're the fourth generation of Blands? Yes, my father, my grandfather, my great-grandfather. Holy wow. shit, wow. So that's uh, it's ironic. Hence, like, hence the piercing. It's, 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 it, is, uh, it is powerful and flavorful that you're the fourth bland. Like, like that's a, and also that he chose extreme dill to put on his dick. Yeah. It's, it's the pickle. It's, you know. yeah, bland, yeah. do you only drink, do you only consume uh, extreme flavors? I try to. <laughs> Actually, this this uh, really made me burp a lot of dill flavor. Oh, you ate them? Yeah, I ate some of them. And then dumped it looked, yeah, that's not a flavor I'd grab off the shelf yeah. or expect to ever find. It's got a sour meter on it. Oh, God. It's a super stack. You can test your taste buds, and it's the screaming dill pickle. Extreme flavor. I guess we're going to do Pringles Dick song with Bland. Do you, 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 you know Pringles Dick? I don't know all of it, but I know some of it. Some people call me Pringles Dick, but I never really found out why. I don't really have a Pringles Dick, I just keep my dick inside. I keep my dick inside a Pringles can because it keeps my penis safe and dry. Some people call me Pringles Dick, but I never really found out. No, I never found out. I never really found out why. Bland. Thank you, Bland. Brilliant. That was some complicated shit. <laughs> it's weird that he put all the time into making the Pringles dick uh, thing, ate the chip. How is it? Doesn't doesn't really know the whole song. How is that, how is that can staying in your pants just by zipper force? Yeah. What, I don't know. Why are you bewildered by I'm that? I'm surprised it doesn't fall out. Uh, <laughs> haven't you ever put something in your? Zipper and pretended it was your dick? My dick. <laughs> I, guess, I guess the answer is no. Uh -huh. All right, Spencer, uh, catch us up to date, if you would. Here, you want to pass those down. The character sheets are being dispensed. When we last met, our heroes came to in the belly of a mythical creature known only as the Infinifish. Our heroes were discovered by a group of seven humans and a halfling that formed a tribe deep within the bowels of the great beast. 
Meeting with Aaliyah, the leader of the Fish Dwellers, the chieftain led the heroes to their village, a safe haven nestled between the arterial landscape of the fish's insides. It was there that Mulrain and Sharpie, in a moment of tension and feelings, had a deep but important conversation about their complicated relationship. Afterwards, they headed to one of the villagers' stores and bought some ropes, potions, and syringes full of paralyzing agents. They didn't know how, but they knew they had to escape. Go! Spencer, everybody. So if you recall, you're in this village. It's been made out of things that the fish has eaten. And uh, yeah, you were talking to the chieftain. Yeah. You got some stuff. All right, so we were talking about making this fish barf uh, barf us up, you know, like uh, Pinocchio style, right? Yeah, they're two episodes yeah. behind. We got swallowed by a big giant fish, and we we're trying to make what it barf. The teleportation, what teleportation what? Yeah, you have that cloak. It teleports. Jesus, yeah. I have a Whoa. teleportation cloak? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you teleport out to the blowhole? Is it, is it, maybe it doesn't have a blowhole. Maybe it's not, 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 a, not a whale. How does that cloak work? You don't even know, man. Your dad showed it to you, and he didn't seem to have a mastery of it. All right. Just go for it anyways. Can I think about the top of this infinite fish? Okay, you can think about the top of it. That All right, happens. think about it. All right, you're thinking about it. I use the cloak. <laughs> I whip it around me like Alex Baldwin in the shadow. It makes a weird noise. It, it, it looks like it's out of juice for the day. You're out of juice for the day. <laughs> kind of. Dungeon snap. If anyone wants to top me off. All right, so uh, we have to we have to get, get this whale to uh, to expurge us somehow, right? We we we, we want to get coughed up out of here. Hey, give me some of those crystals. Remember when we got first on board this Infinifish and you had those cr your healing crystals shattered and it had little crystals that were absorbed in your body. And you got back up to forty hit points. Do you have any of those extra crystals left? I hand him my crystals. All right, you hand him your crystals. Can I rub them on the cloak? The rest of the <laughs> is there a battery rubbing. compartment? <laughs> rubbing the crystals on the cloak. They glow softly, but then grow inert. Grow inert. All right, you can have them back. They're dumb. <laughs> Several of the uh, crystals dissolve, healing you to full health. Oh, oops, sorry. I accidentally healed myself. <laughs> the, uh, the, these people, their their dwellings are made out of wood. Yep. What if we ask them if we could set their homes on fire? <laughs> Go on. And, and obviously take them with us. And we, we maybe if we set their homes on fire, the fish would <laughs> spit us out or just burn up and we'd all die. Um, well, do you want to consult or do you just want to start setting fires? <laughs> no, no. Uh, may I, may I uh, consult with the leader of the fish dwellers? I am the leader of the fish dwellers. Hey. <laughs> I, I heard you talking about things. Yes. Uh, first of all, I want to say that I, I greatly respect your architecture and your house. And I, uh, Secondly, can we set it on fire? Um, we live here. Uh, is there any reason? Do you just like, are you a pyromaniac? Or... No, no, no. Um, I don't hate fire. Uh, but I, um, I, you know, you, you said that you've been here for a long time. I don't know how passionate you are about leaving, but we certainly are. Maybe uh, we can work together, set your home on fire, and we can all leave. Maybe, maybe the mouth will just open, the fish will open its mouth. We can all leave. Also, you look great. Thanks. Thanks. Well, you see, stories tell of my grandpappy. The first three ships that sailed through here, we did indeed light on fire, hoping that would work. But it seems the beast's insides are quite resistant to heat. Okay. Jeff, do you have a little notepad? Yeah. Do you keep little D&D &D notes? I sometimes. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone's got to take this shit seriously, you guys. <laughs> What is that word on your paper? What is that thing? It's Aaliyah, the name of the leader of the fish people. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I write down the names of the people that come up on stage so I can thank them later on. Oh, jeez, you're very nice. Nice. It's come That's true. Nice. I, draw, I draw little pictures of people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've got my, my famous buttermilk biscuit recipe down there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was a good idea, Maureen. I, I, I liked where you are going with that one, but... Uh, sounds like it it's sounds a no-go. Like no. It sounds like it's not a, not there, a good idea. I'm glad you, I asked. If you want to damage various parts of the fish's insides, that might work. I I'll, say, let's go down and... Uh, let's... Uh, shit. I mean, I don't know if killing the fish is a great idea, you know, or hurting it. It's like if this thing is, like, floating through the air... Right. You know, and then you hurt it, like... 
Do, do we know where the fishes, uh, where the amphitophis fishes gag reflexes, where its uvula is? Today? You don't, but you have a feeling it might be somewhere along the digestive tract. <laughs> Weird. I, I, uh, I, I lead us off uh, in the direction of the, uh, the esophageal part of the fish. Aaliyah says, you can go fish west to its primary digestive tract. You can go fish south, but no one ever goes fish south. Why, why doesn't Because you get pooped. <laughs> Let's go get pooped. Well, don't. Let's go poop. Yes, why do we get pooped? Because everyone who ever gone that way is dead. Well, Ken, Kenny because tried they've once. never seen them again? Yeah, Kenny oh. tried it once. He never returned. Oh. He never, well. Uh, Some say he escaped, but others say he perished. And others maintain that he never existed. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, either way. Hmm. So we can make him sneeze or gag, or we can uh, punch a hole through him, or we can uh, go get go get pooped out the infinite fish. But then we're going to be floating out in the uh, the sky, right? Right. Maybe. Well, maybe. Maybe not. So do okay, but and we don't want that. So hypothetically, we want a ship to fly inside the fish. And then yeah. we get on the fish on the ship. Uh, you could. You also have a broken ship. You could repair it if you thought you wanted a ship. Can I use portable hole? Uh, you, to do what? <laughs> to, to to fall through it. A, it's, it doesn't like put a hole in a wall it just makes a pit appear so like you get in the pit oh, and it I, wouldn't take you to the other side so it's more like a, hi a hiding spot yeah it's a hiding spot mm. are you able to pull those holes I'm just curious like would you go into them or are you able to pull them down into the like pull it into itself yeah uh, like you'd probably turn inside out and explode or something oh. <laughs> I don't know I, I'm, I'm feeling lucky today I said we go try the, 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 the poop shoot yeah. You see a pers purple pulsating sphincter to the south. <laughs> it seems tiny, but you might be able to squeeze through. Can, can you say that ten times fast? No. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a little. I'll go first. <laughs> wait, wait, stop. Yeah. I, I just want to Instagram this. Uh, no, no. I uh, I want to tie a rope around you. Okay. Oh, great idea. Yeah, she, uh, you, you, you bought rope, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I have rope. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll tie... I'm tying rope, I'm around, tying rope uh, pork's around... Pork's waist. Pork's waist. I'm tying that to my... Two tugs means uh, I'm in an infinite toilet uh, and I, I'm drowning. <laughs> right. Pull me back. One tug is, uh, means... Uh, Good to go. go c c follow me. Okay. Yeah, right. and if you start tugging a lot of times, we'll start writing it down like it's a song. <laughs> Like, like, like Morse code? Yeah, yeah, but a song, but a beat to a song. Okay. Actually, we better eliminate one tug as an option because one tug could be a chaotic thing generated yeah. by all Okay, so, 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 shave and a haircut. Da, 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 da. That means uh, don't come in here. Don't, but, don't but, come. Yeah, don't, so don't come. Like, but if I go, da, da, that means you can come in. <laughs> that means. So if you figure if you're yank, 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 yank. Don't come in. I don't think. I, I, I don't want to hear. Yank, 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 yank. Yank, yank, that quirk, means it's good to go. Quirk, no, so you if, said, you, if you go through oh, the anus oh, oh. and, there, and it's, it's imminent danger, you're going to be like, all right. Mur, 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 mur. <laughs> yeah, because that's the <laughs> system. Okay. That's the system. <laughs> Okay, all right. Okay, so well, you think you'll, you'll have that presence so, of mind no oh, yeah, matter yeah. what happens. Look, fuck it. That's yeah, absolutely. Yank, 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 yank. Don't come. Don't come. But yeah. come yank, down. Come down. I am Get the toilet. Come down. Yeah. Okay. Right. right. Okay. So uh, with, the, with, the, with the, I tie the rope uh, firmly around my uh, midsection and, uh, and and squeeze uh, through the purple pulsating anus. <laughs> <laughs> Muscular action sucks you in. You find yourself in a narrow red passageway. <laughs> it opens up to an outcropping that to a what? an outcropping that looks over a lake of acid. On the far wall, you can see a similar outcropping. Am I safe where I'm standing? You're safe where you're standing. Yank, 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 yank. So that means we don't go. No, no. Didn't Stop you hear that. the last two yanks? <laughs> I mean, that, that means he's probably don't perfectly come. safe not standing over an outcropping of acid. <laughs> so we'll keep our end of the bargain and follow him. Sharpie, really quick before we go into Zanus, um, I just had to tell you that I... You know, last night was pretty heavy, but I, I, I love you, and I, I love you forever. I don't care what happens. I know. <laughs> I give her a passionate kiss, or at least one that is uh, so that the uh, 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 it 
it's taken so long to do that it's passionate. It's <laughs> to the to the fans. What part of yank 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 did you guys not understand? All right, let's go. All right, okay, I'm next. I'm going. I'm going into the anus. All right. I, I proceed. <laughs> On the far wall, you see a similar purple pulsating sphincter. A few giant wasps flit around the room. Wasps? Dizzy, circle wasps? Wasps? Yeah, giant ones. All right. Well, the biological analog is breaking down for me. So there are two, there are two sphincters? Uh, there's two, yeah. So we, we've, we've ventured through one, and there's another one along the other I path. Think. It's sort of like, you know, it, it, like we could be in, in a stomach kind of chamber. But but you, it's, yeah. it's, it's acid, so I think I feel like probably... the infinite fish, being, being an infinitely big almost uh, organism, probably just has more like big lakes of acid that kind of break down things in different stages, yeah, yeah, maybe. We're, we're in the right. stomach right now. Yeah. But if you could fly above it, you wouldn't dissolve. Oh. Yep. I fly oh, above it. Well, <laughs> I use my teleportation. Oh, wait, you said it's out of juice. Yeah. But can't you, can't, can't you fly, Dan? Didn't you have a fly thing? Well, I have a feather fall. If I start to fall, I could slowly lower myself into the acid. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't like break my neck on impact or anything. I, I, I take one of Air, uh, Mulrain's arrows and tie the rope to it and say, shoot the arrow into the far wall and we'll climb across it like you know, rope bridge style. Oh boy. All right. I shoot an arrow. Uh oh. Okay. You shoot an arrow and it flies across the room, but much like the cord of your microphone, which just fell on the floor, the rope disengages itself and uh, doesn't cross the chasm. I need, the to, chasm I need, I need to consult you about one of my spells. Yeah. Don't I have Tensor's floating disc? Tensor's floating disc, yes. Um, uh, is it, you know, does that have any range to it? Can anyone get on that and I can send them across? They can get on it, but I feel like there's a weight limit. Um, I think it's like 100 Excuse pounds. Me? <laughs> well, Sharpie's pretty small, or Quark. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll just, you could probably send Quark over. You're not so sure whether you but can I, get you. Wait, wait, you put me in a Frisbee and throw me across the acid? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have like a thing called Tensor's Floating Disc. It's like a, a way to, it's like a floating uh, hover sled so I can put equipment on it. Okay. But Spencer, after I turn into a woman, I, I weigh like 50 pounds now, right? 50? I don't know. It's a standard weight like for a woman. Dead. <laughs> Ladies? I don't know. Um, okay. 100. Just 100. Don't you have a street spell, Dan? Yeah, a reduced person. Yeah, yeah, reduce reduce one of us and send it. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Reduce, reduce, reduce mole rain and throw her across the acid. If I reduce <laughs> if I reduce mole rain, can will she will the weight limit of the uh, of her will she plus quark be under the weight limit of tensor's floating disc? I'm just gonna say yes. Okay. All right, I cast reduce person on mole rain. <sighs> Typical. Then I then I cast tensor's floating disc. Okay. Put the two of them on the All disc. Right. Yep, yep. And oogie boogie. <laughs> All right. Your maneuver works. They're on the other side. Oh! Oh! See you later. You know, they, they applauded for less in Brooklyn. You know, uh, can I? Can they I, applauded like a three-point ray of frost. Can attack. we? Can we throw the, the disc back to him so he can get on it? Yeah. I I I throw the disc back to uh, to Sharpie. There you go. <laughs> and I scream out, "This is for both of us!" <laughs> well, I don't think I can. Can I get on my own floating disc? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I sound unsure. I am kind of unsure. I'm just rolling with it. Ah, you're rolling with it. All right, I, I get on my own floating disc. <laughs> Slowly, it hovers across. You've piqued the attention of the flying wasps. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Are you using the dice the guy gave you? Yeah, I am. And it's not boating well. <laughs> Thanks, Bland. <laughs> Two of the uh, wasps streak out of the air towards you, pointing their vicious stings. You manage to deflect one of the blows, but the other strikes you right in the shoulder. You feel stinging pain as seven damage enters you. Seven <laughs> damage enters your body. Scorching ray! Scorching ray! It misses. It flies into the wall. Fire some arrows. Uh, I, uh, where should I fire them at? I, uh, the wasps. Oh, the wasps, uh, yeah, 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 you, 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 just, you, you just made out with this guy, and I just watched him get his ass kicked. <laughs> I'm swooping. 
swooning. You're, you're, I'm you're, swooning. St you're standing up here like. I'm swooning. I'm swooning. I'm swooning. Uh, as a woman, I'm just thinking about babies and doilies. Uh, I, I, I fired. Uh, okay, so it's just one wasp. Uh, I fire one arrow. Like a regular arrow? A regular arrow, but I really, I'm really focusing, Spencer. Yeah, you are. You hit it! Yeah! Right in the wing. The Zoom. wing falls off of its body and careens into the lake of acid. All right, cool. your, your ascent or movement continues. All right, tensor-nized. You get to the far outcropping. Tensor's disc out! <laughs> the other wasp is droning lazily around. Knows better than to mess with y'all. Okay, cool. Let's not fuck with that guy. Yeah, okay. All right. So, uh, what, what, what are we, what are we looking at now, Spencer? Purple sphincter. Purple sphincter. Um, I, same system. Same, same system. Same system. system. Although, can I recommend? Can we talk about this uh, shoes and a haircut? Yeah. Like, like, like. It just seems like, like. Now nah, let's use the same system. Shoes. Sorry. Okay. But it's okay. So if if something's going wrong, then you say. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> So okay, it's like, so that's bad. Think so of it, no, bad. yeah, right. If there's yeah, no other that's tugs. Yeah, that's happened before. Yeah. I'm in a that. butthole. Come in. Is come there, in. Like, I, 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 I'm in a butthole. I'm in a butthole. If I don't, if I don't say think of it, Think of it this way, okay. Did you, did uh, you think of it this way. Okay. I'm in terrible danger. Just kidding. So the two tugs in the game. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Baby's so smart. Yeah. Baby system's so good. Is there something on my face? No, I'm worried that there is mine. I don't. I've been conditioned before you got up here. There was hair hanging everywhere. Sorry. All right. All right. So. The hair's there. All right. I'm in terrible danger. Okay. Just I, 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 I tied the rope around my waist and ease my way through the other sphincter. You climb into the sphincter and immediately feel embraced by powerful muscular <laughs> action. Story of Jeff's life. <laughs> Immediately, you feel the rope snap. Your side, uh, Sharpie and Mulrain, it goes oh, no. slack. Oh, no. You're being pushed through a fleshy opening with insane speed. <laughs> you feel like you're falling and then being pulled upwards and all around, and suddenly you're falling again. Oh, shit. So we're not feeling any signals. Is he fine? No, you feel it go slack. No, I know. I'm just kidding. Uh, holy shit! What, Wait, what, is the rope? I pull on the rope. It comes out. The, it's broken? Yes. Okay, I tie, broke. I tie uh, the rope to another arrow. Okay. I fire the arrow right on the rim of the sphincter. All right, you miss. <laughs> you can, okay, you could just stab it in if you'd like. Oh, okay, I stab oh, it in. That's fair, okay. Uh, also, gross. Okay. Um, <laughs> Grosser than shooting it. <laughs> okay, so if I'm able to stab it, okay, I thought I had to, like, go across something. Uh, me meanwhile, uh, little help! <laughs> Oh, uh, my chicken noodle can't fall off. Okay, I tie I tie the rope to my foot. I give the I, I, I tie the rope to my foot. I take out two arrows. I'm holding them in my hand, and I say to Sharpie, "Hold on to the other side of the rope." Okay. We'll do the same system. I'm I'm going to find Quirk. Okay, it's gonna snap. The rope's gonna snap. <laughs> no, but it won't because I have arrows with me. He didn't have any arrows. How is the arrow, how are the arrows, what do you mean? Because maybe, maybe something stabbed the rope apart. And they didn't have a, is this a bad idea? We can switch. It's <laughs> like gonna get the same results here. We need to, uh, um, uh, he, he's gone into the intestinal tract. Uh, 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 we, we, we need to just either follow him or, uh, you know, forget we ever knew him. <laughs> well then let's, let's, let's follow him. Let's, let's double bind our feet. Just to be I have a there. potion of enlarged person. I'm wondering if I drink it just as I go in. Right. Just give this thing the, the biggest dude. You may it's enlarge ever. the tunnel, and if he's stuck, then he'll... Yeah, that's a great idea. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't... It just seems... It seems like a random thing to do, but... <laughs> don't be shy. You're so smart. <laughs> I, I, I charge headlong into the sphincter as I drink a potion of enlarged person. All right. Woo! Life. You too get sucked into the sphincter. You uh, you travel around in it. As you get larger and larger, it uh, it doesn't seem to affect the speed of the esophageal ascendance. You too soon are falling. 
Uh-oh. You land on a fleshy outcropping on the side of a big red pit. Below yeah. you, you could see the ship you crashed here on. A- am I there too? You were there too. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> You've just been sitting there for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what were you guys doing? Talking about uh, uh, how smart you were and just, uh, just fucking doing bullshit? <laughs> Before you get judgmental, you might want to realize you're going to be around us for a while. We we just came full circle. That's our ship down there. Oh, wait, so we just wasted a bunch of time? On the small ledge is a small campfire as well as a green tent. Which Who's on this ledge? You guys are both on Oh, we're both ledge. on it? All right. On the we'll other side of the sphincter. Yeah. Let's go up to the uh, green tent. All right, that I, happens. I knock on the flap. It doesn't sound like much, but you hear the rustling and shaking of something exiting the tent. Oh, what's he look like? Okay. Out climbs a tall, thin elf with long blonde hair. He's wearing stained red leather clothes, and at his side is a magnificent lo- longsword with a pristine golden blade. Shing. Haldo, I am Prince Valicent of the Valicent Fiefdom. Hello. <laughs> What brings you to my outcropping? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, we just went through some, uh, the, uh, some butts. We were, and, uh, we, we, were trying to, we, we were trying to get pooped out of a fish. Well, you were close. You got pooped somewhere. Just to, uh, just to my little camp. Um, how's it going? Uh, do you, do you want to a sandwich? What's it made of? Uh, fish innards. <laughs> mm. Listen, is there a way to get out of this fish? I mean, I know... I don't know much about navigation, although what I do know is sword mastery. I am a sword master, and I master all swords. <laughs> Can't we just slice our way out of this thing? Can't we just start slicing and dicing and, and punch a hole? The thing about such great beasts is, although you can do hefty damage to their insides, muscular action tends to close the wounds, sealing any pathway out. You'd have to do something pretty dangerous to some of the vital organs to knock this thing out of the air. Meanwhile, I jump into the sphincter to join them. Whoosh. Splarf. But if we knock this thing out of the air, don't we all die anyway? Maybe. I mean, that's all up to you. What if it, like, vomits you into, like, a cushion plane? A plane of eternal cushioning. So are we are we have to go get, like, to a heart or a lung or something like that and go, like, go stab it in the heart? I, I'm not much of an Infinifish uh, biologist by any means, but... You're more of a swordsman. Yeah. What, what, more... are you, what are you good at? I'm good at swords. Like, okay, okay, check this out. Um, shoot an arrow. All right, I shoot one arrow. Okay, you shoot it over the side of the pit. Uh, the side of the pit. As it descends towards the earth, he she unsheathes his sword and, in a single fluid motion, strikes with his blade. Shing. Although he's a good thirty feet off, you could see the arrow break into half and fall into pieces. It's like Robin Hood men in tights. I, does Does he have like magic far sword powers? He's just he's just fast with knives. It's a Mel Brooks movie. It's not realistic. All right, so we, we need to take this guy on a journey up to the organs and use his sword to destroy the heart of this thing, probably, right? Yeah, he's got fire sword abilities. Yeah, so I don't, I don't have a problem with you guys, uh, you know, escaping, but I, I kind of dig it. The Valicent Kingdom was pretty shitty. Wait, what, what are you talking about? You, you like it inside a fish? Yeah, it's like, uh, there's sandwiches. Well, would you... That's Listen, it. if you come with us, you'll have sandwiches that aren't made of fish innards. Like, what else do you put in a sandwich? How, how long have you been here? I mean, we just ate fish sandwiches, too. That was, that was typical. There's a whole world out there. You Maybe can do we can you show want. you some affection. Oh. Yeah, my girlfriend will fuck you, I guess. That's what she's saying. I don't know why she's uh, saying that. Oh, she'll fuck you. And I mean fuck you. You're going to have a pussy sandwich. Believe me, I have my share of portable holes. I wish portable holes never, had never existed in this universe. Uh, I can make mine pretty stationary. Well, I guess the conversation's moot because you said you'd like to help us, but you want to stay. But I, I just maybe all, you could just uh, show us swords. away and then go back. Is there anything that we could offer you that you would uh, that, 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 that you value that we might be able to bribe you with? Uh, do you uh, do you have any weapons or? I I I have an uh, I have a couple swords. Yeah. I have an I have an emerald dagger. Yeah. I have a, 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 a sense of adventure. Wait, didn't you say you'd be happy to help us? 
<laughs> I'd be happy to help you with any sword-related problems or you know sword-related expertise. I have a great flaming sword. It's pretty cool. Well, you, just, you, you don't know? have to give him anything. He's huh? going to help us anyway. Is he? Is? Yeah. He oh, likes, he likes help. Hey, come with us and we'll just talk swords. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, 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 you and I, we, we'll talk swords all day long. We'll, 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 we'll play sword fight. Have you guys, have you heard the new like broadsword monthly? Hell, I, I, hell yeah. Oh, wow. I did. I wrote a piece for it. I, I can't believe it gets delivered here of all places. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, well, you seem pretty cool. Let's talk. Let's go. Um, All right. How do I get down? Uh, well, you got to get up, Feather Fall. <laughs> All right. Can I cast that on other people? Sounds good. Yeah. On, on, yep. I can cast that on other people? Yeah. You can cast it on people. All right. Yeah. I cast Feather Fall on everybody. On everybody. That's going to take up most of your spells. You're going to need some rest after this, but you gently float to the pit, the bottom of it. You're back where you started. Back where we started. What a great adventure. Back where we started. Cliffhanger! Back is where you started. Thank you, Aaron McGathy. Thank you. No, we're not where we started because now we got a guy with super far sword powers and he's going to help us kick ass. No, I know. That's the point of a story, Jeff. You, 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 you go in little cycles. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't being derogatory when I said back where we started. Oh, good. And what do you feel like uh, you, you started the show? Speaking of cycles, wondering where we were in the Joseph. I Kim, don't know. Campbellian thing. It, it seems like tonight was pretty easy. It was very supportive. Maybe too fun. easy. Too easy for twenty dollars, right? <laughs> like some people, are, I drove six hours. Why was the what, for twenty dollars? Do you feel like the audience, so easy? Do you feel like the audience needs you to work a little harder, break a sweat up here? No, I think the audience needs to give me validation so that I can know that I gave them their $20 worth. Well, they already gave you $20, though. <laughs> they, gave the, they gave the club $20, but I'm saying, like, I, I just, I don't want to cheat them. I don't want them to call the Better Business Bureau. I want to... Fuck some mamas. Fuck some mamas? Oh, fuck some mamas. Oh, okay. I think they're saying that if I do some rapping, if I do some freestyle rapping... Then that'll make their ticket price worthwhile. All right. Do you want to do the grand finale rap, or do you want to do one of the, one of the freestyle uh, styles? I don't know. Let's try the try the. Ri do we do we have any Rihannas in the audience? Any 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 Dido's? Any uh, any girl any any girls that can come up and sing the uh, the P is yellow, poop is brown hook to our thing? At the very least, we have Ruth, right? Yeah, Ruth. Not the, not the very Ooh. least. I didn't mean that. How about yeah? Let's let's, let's reinvite Ruth to the stage. Ruth, would you mind? The phrase "at the very least" was not appropriate. I just meant because you already we are, we. we well, I have no idea what y'all are talking about. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> well, it's very, it's very easy. Uh, let's hear. Anyway. There's a refrain. Okay, so I do a terrible, awesome freestyle <laughs> rapping, and then there's a, a a chorus that's like sort of a. It's just you singing like uh, uh, the lyrics are. Uh, Come on down to Harden Town. Turn that frown upside down. P is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmon Town. Yo. Trial run with a first verse. Could be better, motherfucker could be worse. Put some chicken on my dick and some Pringles inside. Fuck your mama till I saw she was twice as wide. I've said the same words before, and you rhyme the same words that you did before. Before, rhymes with before. It doesn't matter, it's a first verse and it, it doesn't matter. Sing. Come on down to Harmon Town. Turn that frown upside down. We all forgot it. Is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmon Town. Indiana, where the rivers flow. I fucked your mama so hard she didn't know where to go. I made her internal compass in her inner ear spin around till she was like a bird that had experienced so much fear that it, it didn't know how to live and eaten so many worms that its stomach started to give and the bird exploded and rain guts down and your mama's so uh, uh, fuckable. Uh, I can't believe it. Come on down. It's better. It's better. Practice. What's your name? Kyle. Yeah. I'd like to fuck his mama for a while. Your name, sir, it is... 
And I fucked your mama so hard she started falling. I fucked Kyle's mama, then I fucked Collins. I fucked up the mamas, whatever. I think there was gonna go. It doesn't make any sense that I would do that. This court will only reach so far. Yo. Come on down. Just give me a second. Yeah. Okay. Vicinity. Proximity. What's your name? Brian. Is the man who fucked his mama hard like she needed an oil can. He's the only one I can reach. What's your name again? Brian. That's what I thought. I'm trying to work the crowd and rap at the same time, and it's harder than I thought it would be. This court don't reach. What's your name? Brian. <laughs> Just rapping, working the crowd at the end of the court. What's your name? Brad. Brad does it. Fucked his mama in all of her closets. What's your name? David. David, no it's not. Fucked your mama. But on second thought, David's mama came to my house just the other day. Fucked her on the scale, said, bitch, now you pay what you weigh. I fucked her 500 times. I fucked her so hard, she had little grimes of the residue for me. I'm sorry. Turn the frown upside down. That was gross. It happens. And your name is Eric. Yeah, and you do what for a living? Sell cell phones. Yeah. That's the truth. That's the stone cold truth. Eric sells cell phones for Verizon, but I fucked your mama so hard she started to get surprising results from my knob and my balls, and I, I fucked her up to Canada. Niagara Falls! I fucked your mama. I fucked your mama. Fuck your mama, fuck your mama, fuck your mama. I'm so sorry. Come on down the hall and tell. Turn that frown upside down. Microphone. He is yellow, poop is brown. Strength. Come on down the hall and tell. Ruthie's up on the mic singing songs. I fucked your mama so hard, I didn't do it too long. I only had to do it shortly, cause I did it hard. I fucked your mama like my penis was a little shard. There's only so many words that rhyme with so many words. I keep rhyming the same words with the same words. We gotta think of new stuff or I gotta stop rapping. Uh, you requested it, but it's really starting to be crapping out. I'm sorry, Indiana. I fucked your mama like her name was Brianna. And it might as well have been, because who cares what her name was? Why do you fuck someone like their name was something? So that's a stupid idea. It's a great state, and you deserve much better. I fucked Indiana's mama the other day. Blah, 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 something gay. A do, 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 do. Fucked your mama, da, 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 something about a shoe. Put your hat on your dick and your balls and butt. I fucked your mama like she had a pussy and a butt. I fucked your mama and her nuts and her balls. I fucked her titties in the barrel. Niagara, Niagara Falls. Falls. I fucked your mama in the north and the south. In the face and the nose and the, the ears and the mouth. I fucked your, fucked your mama like she was a pussy. Fucked her on VH1 with Gary Busey. I fucked your mama on the carpet and the rug. I fucked your mama like my dick was a bug. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> See, you can do it then. Yeah, yeah. You're learning. Okay. He's, okay. Teaching. He's teaching. I fucked your mama like yeah. my dick was a bug. I put it deep inside her. In her pussy rug. Wait, I'm sorry. That was out of my room. I got to start over. Start over. Yo, 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 yo. I fucked your mama like her pussy was a rug. I put it in her like my dick was a bug. It went underneath the carpet, came out in the kitchen, made itself a milkshake, said, woman, quit your bitching. Got 16 hours I've been working today. I don't need to come home to hear this shit any other way. I wanna watch Duke's a Hazard and have a sandwich. Oh fuck, I want, fuck, fuck, sandwich? Please for coming to Hermit Town, everybody. Indiana. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you, Indiana. You've been fun and forgiven. Let's hear one more time for Aaron McGaffey. Thanks, Ruthie. Spencer Crittenden. Jared, who runs the place here at the Comedy Alley. Thank you so much, man. Uh, who, who was the one that brought us the great cookies and booze backstage? Who was that? 
Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to you afterwards. Thank you for that. Uh, uh, Matt, the guy, music guy, came in uh, the uh, the guy in the row, Bland, the guy with the Pringle and the, the chicken soup and everybody else. Uh, we love you. One more time, I'm Jeff Davis. Damn it. Your mayor, Dan Harvey. Check out the other uh, acts here and stuff. They have cool people, it looks like. Uh, yeah, we're, we're looking around the wall. We're seeing all of our groovy friends from back home. So yeah. Obviously, uh, Jared and the guys here and the gals here know what they're doing. This is an awesome place. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. Let's all go to the bar, eh? Yeah. All right. Bonus track. Bonus track. Oh, yeah. No one will hear this on iTunes. What's up with black people? <laughs> They're, they're, they're at it again. I, I've had it up to here. How much, how much blacker are they gonna get? It's gotten out of control. I, 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 I it seems every day I open the newspaper and then, okay, now, okay, great. And I've had it. Uh, Black people. Urban. Magic. Black people are magical creatures, having all kinds of magical features. They can shrink down to the size of a bug and expand to the size of a boat that you call a tug boat. It's not that big, but it's not a small vehicle. It's just a small ship. It's aquatic in nature. I fucked your mama so hard I could have sworn. Ah, shit. It's a bonus track. A bonus track. What do you want? You, did you think it was going to be a criterion? Uh, just a little racism and a shitty rap. That's what you get on your bonus track. <laughs> All right, bonus, bonus track. All right, this is a deep bonus track. No, not only okay, the, the the set you hear on iTunes, then that thing about black people, that shitty rap where I couldn't rhyme nature. That was like a that was like nomenclature. Nomenclature. Right. Legislature. Yeah, hey guys, I mean, 2020 quarterbacks. <laughs> Monday morning. 2020 Hoosiers. quarterbacks. 2020 quarterbacks. But this is deep, 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 secret, deep cut. <laughs> We can really lay it on the line here. Deep cut. Secret track. Bonus rift. <laughs> Too drunk. I can't do it. Singing a song. I went to the middle of the place. Called the U.S. and saw a new face. Called Indiana. And it looked real good. <laughs> and I chopped lots of wood. And it brought me inside for soup. It tasted good. <laughs> Damn good soup. It's <laughs> the worst song about Indiana. Bloomington. Bloomington. I fucked your mama in her womb. <laughs> And I started to make a little baby tiny version of me And it draw sustenance from the walls that it sees And it's eating food that your mama takes in all the time So if she huffs, then it's gonna be bent The baby's gonna be deformed So don't let her do that I'm not gonna be around, I'm a traveling uh, entertainer. But if your mama fucks up that baby I put in her, I'll be back with the lawyer. <laughs> and I'll take, take her to court, and I'll, I'll take that baby away from your mom. And I'll raise it in my Los Angeles mansion. <laughs> and I'll teach it to read Beatles records, and it's so it won't really know how to read. And I'll tell it that math is based on fair some fancy German school and it'll only suck its thumb till it's 13 and it'll have coke in its system until it's 17 and it'll think that's normal uh, and then it'll replace it with, uh, with Adderall and it'll be all, all these kinds of weird educational programs that don't prepare for the real world and then when I go broke at 16 your mama's kid will, will, will be broke too and it'll just be wandering around out there like Andy Dick's son. Just wondering what to do. Is there a way to merchandise this? What, what happened to me? 
I got I got hit by a parental truck. I'm just laying in the street, like waving a flag. I mean, I guess it's worse in Lebanon, but shit. Sorry for fucking your mom. In Bloomington, I hope she gives me a son. They're better than women. Even though women are better at swimming, men are better at running capital buildings and 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 and, 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 and making guns. <laughs> the worst. This is the worst thing I've ever done. It's a bonus. This is something that only you guys get. What? Yep, sounds like they got their money's worth. Yeah, it sounds like it. All right, let's 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 ruin it. Let's ruin it. Harmington. Harmington. Yeah, Harmington. That's where you combine Bloomington and Harmington yeah. to a special new hybrid town. All right, one more, one more, one more verse. Oh, here we go. Make it count, son. Red, yellow, blue, and green. I fucked your mama with a TV screen. <laughs> it made her pussy have static cling. And she called out my name until she moved to the south. Fucked <laughs> 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 her mouth. My Niagara Falls. <laughs> we gotta stop rapping and uh, we gotta think of a new show to do when we get to. Uh, where are we going next? Maybe uh, Madison? Maybe this isn't meeting with the goddess. <laughs> uh, if anybody has any suggestions after, I'll sign anything uh, that, that, that you bought. If you have some suggestions for how to do the show in Madison, we'd be willing to hear them. We'll be near your family, won't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should just invite your family to come. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> now how do you end a show that you've already ended and then the joke was that you went way past the ending? You are in Harmony Town. Fucked your mama in Harmony Town. Where pee is yellow and the poop is brown. I'm really sorry that I took your mama to ground round. Harmony Town. Thanks to our sponsors. Yeah, Dan, just walk off the stage. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm not ready. Uh, thank you, John Deere, uh, sponsor of the show tonight. Thank you for making those tractors. Uh, uh, Nike, uh, corn niblets. Uh, did someone say corn niblets? Uh, Snickers, don't just snick. Snickers. Uh, 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 potatoes, the underground fruit. Uh, grass, it's nature's carpet. Uh, and uh, American Express for, for, for when America is not fast enough. Uh, thank, thanks, thank you, Bloomington. Good night. Thank you. All right, here's the encore. Go, Dan, go! Oh, sorry, sorry. Go!